talking about, man? The fuck is y'all niggas talking about, man? First place, man. First place. First place. Let's get it. Let's get it. I nation out here. First place, nigga. We going up. We going up. Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas. This and that shit wasn't no fluke. YouTube would try to delete a nigga whole work. They try to delete a nigga whole life. Make it seem like you never exist. Delete your whole motherfucker. Imagine working hard for years and be, becoming the world's most innovative, creative inventor. Becoming the GOAT. And the motherfucker try to burn your mother. I feel how my how our ancestors felt when they went to Africa and just burnt them libraries. They tried to just burn my YouTube channel. I am in possession of the world's most powerful library. And I am the most intellectual man on the planet. Yeah. And I will eat anybody in the debate. I nation debate with you, heard. If you can't show me it in a book, get the fuck out of here. That's how I play. Get the fuck out of here. Gang. If you can't show me it in a book, get the fuck out of here. Facts. Facts. Don't say shit to me. I'm the number one black person in the world. I'm the most talented, innovative, intellectual, creative black man living today. And I'm going to beat y'all niggas with talent. I'm going to beat y'all niggas with creativity. And I'm going to beat y'all niggas with intelligence. With intelligence. This is a battle of the mind now, baby. This is, a, this is a battle of the mind. I've been holding it down. Don't get it twisted. But I just want to let y'all niggas know we in first fucking place. No games. I got my own debate league. All you got to do is show up and let me show out. Bring a book. It's time to get to battling with the books. Let's get it. Let's get it. Alexandria had nothing to do with our ancestors, to, to be honest with you guys. Alexandria, it was called Alexandria for a reason, you dumbass. Because there was no more of that greatness. The greatness had already left Egypt. There was no more ancestors to talk about. The library of Alexandria was called Alexandria because it had been conquered, stupid. So at that point, there's nothing that has nothing to do with ancestors. What ancestors? Greeks? You talking about ancestors were Greeks? Marshall? So this is what I'm talking about. He can't fuck with me. This nigga can't fuck with me because everything that Marshall Daniels, uh, young Pharaoh, has researched, has read, has been a bunch of European hogwash. That's all it is. That's all he's putting out. That's all he's propagating. So, your scholarship is very, very, again, I, I was saying in my initial video that when it comes to information, when it comes to knowledge, when it comes to understanding, when it comes to intelligence, you're pseudo, my nigga. You a child. You a child. The way you acting right now, based on your lack of understanding, you acted the way the Europeans acted when they first interfaced with our great ancestors. That's what's going on right now. Pharaoh was to revive the, the European legacy. And we've done had that debate. We had that debate, Pharaoh, in 1992 when Europeans were celebrating their 500 years of greatness, they called it, right? Dr. Jeffries will tell you this. Dr. Jeffries was in the center of this of this argument, of this debate. Michael Jackson even got into the, this debate. What do you think Michael was doing? Michael was talking about remember the time where he purposely put African-looking people, dark-skinned, melanated people, on remember the time. And when that when did that video come out? That video came out in '92. Michael Jackson took the side of black academia. Real fucking 
fucking historians. Real fucking scholars. Not the bullshit that you're talking about. That's what Remember the Time was talking about. Michael was reminding you, remember? Remember our time? Remember when we ruled this whole fucking planet? It wasn't about Egypt, stupid. It was about the entire globe. We ruled this whole shit. So, the library of Alexandria was nothing more than a little, a little itty bitty piece of what was left of our greatness of ancient Egypt. That's why it's called Alexandria because it had been conquered, stupid. So that had nothing to do with anything, right? They don't put, don't nix our ancestors into some stupid ass, pseudo ass information that you don't even know anything about. And again, I'm gonna keep saying it, that's why you can't face me. You can't face me, dude. Your information is young, nigga. Your information is young. Your information is about a hundred years old. Not even. The information that you've been talking about is at least maybe 60 to 100 years old. We're not even talking about Greeks here, bro. We're not talking about Greeks. We're not talking about Romans. We're not talking about Macedonians. We're not even talking about the French. Even the French, Napoleon uh, went into Egypt and found nothing. The Greeks went into Egypt and were left with nothing. Aristotle will tell you this. Plato will tell you this. If you really done your homework, if you really research, because according to um, Aristotle, right, if you look up uh, Plato, those guys will tell you. And, and guess what? Those were the greatest minds. Those were the greatest Greek minds of that time. They'll tell you that they weren't even allowed into the pyramids. If you want to talk about library, the library was really the pyramid. And they weren't even allowed to go in. <laughs> the Greeks were not allowed to go into the pyramids. The, the priests forbade them. I'm going to repeat this shit again. The Greeks were never allowed into the library until much of Egypt was broken down and turned into some tribal shit. Then we're talking about Cleopatra and those guys. What is that? A thousand years later? A thousand years later? It took the fucking Europeans a thousand years for them to enter fucking Egypt. And even when they got in, they left with nothing. So what did they burn? It was these dumbass Europeans, these little faction, these little groups who were fighting for white supremacy, Pharaoh. That's where this whole white supremacy argument began. Europeans, Europe was still trying to find itself. We went in there, remember, to clean it up. The rope priests, your Akhenatans, they gave out, they sold out our information. They sold us out. They wanted to have an all-inclusive in society. They, they, the, 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 uh, those guys wanted to do what Martin Luther King wanted to do. Let's integrate. And the priesthood said no. They rebelled against Akhenaten, so they went in, they, they left. They, the priests went underground. The priesthood went underground. And at the time, the biggest temple in Egypt was, was the temple of Amun, the Amun priest. I just can't, man. I just can't with this nigga and his bullshit and his lies and his fucking shit. And while we're on this topic, right, to prove to you that the information was on the ground, the Greeks, when they came in, they started digging up everything. To this day, they desecrate our tombs. The real ancestors, the dynastic ancestors, going back 18 fucking uh, different dynastic periods. People, this is a thousand years. Even in the films in Hollywood, the, what was Seti saying? Seti said, I want Egypt to be written all over the walls for a thousand years, for a millennia. So it wasn't until the end of the thousand years when the invaders came and integrated, literally integrated into the into that society, then they had the Hyksos. From the Hyksos, then you had the, um, 
the first uh, the Ptolemies, which lasted about what 200 years, maybe two 225 years. You suck, Pharaoh. Really suck, man. You mixing shit. You doing a remix. You doing a remix of our history, nigga. That's that's a uh, that's called revisionist with history. You're revising our history to the betterment of the people who stole that history. All the lies that were told, that's what you're doing. You're propagating this lie, bro. And that's not right. And again, what I'm saying is, back to the people, back to the people who desecrated our tombs when they went into Egypt, when they went into the tombs, the Valley of the Kings, they said, wait a minute. These are not kings. These are not men. These were women. Hence the word, hence the title Pharaoh. The house of women. So what are you talking about, Pharaoh? It was a bunch of women. It was a bunch of women leaders, rulers. From Hatshepsut down. Hatshepsut was so brilliant. She had a beard. She put on a beard. She was the queen and the king at the same time. She's the first um, Egyptian royalty who actually uh, brought the kingdoms together. She united the lower kingdom and the northern ki kingdom together. You wilding out, my nigga. The books you're reading are false. The books that you're reading are wrong, nigga. You're reading false information. And then you putting it out like it's scholarship, nigga. You see why you don't want to debate me? It didn't last 20 seconds. It didn't last 20 seconds. You're not ready, dogs. You're not ready. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in. And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds.